guys, this is Backdraft and welcome to another Redstone Showcase. In this video, I'm going to be demoing my Redstone Memory Cell Combination Lock. This particular design is a six digit combination lock that opens up a vault door. And first things first, I'm gonna demo how it works. So each of these levers represents a particular number in the combination, starting here and working your way around to this one. Whenever you flick the lever, whether on or off, you can see that the lights above the levers light up. The first lamp represents the number one, the last one represents the number nine, and then each of the lamps in between represent the other numbers. So right now this one is at three. If you ever need to reset one of them, you can simply press the button directly next to it. The vault door will open only when the correct combination is entered. So when all six of the memory cells have the correct number entered. So the combination I currently have set is 117313. So if I enter that, you'll see that the vault door will open. So there's one, one, seven, three, one, three. And the vault door opens. So if at any point one of the numbers ends up being incorrect, the vault door will immediately close. So if I switch this one to two, the vault door closes. If I reset it, however, and then go back to one, the vault door will open. Once the player is all set inside of the vault, there is a master shutoff button in the middle, which will reset all six of the numbers and lock the vault door. The second way that the whole system can be reset is through the use of these pressure plates. So if you simply just exit the room and cross over one of these pressure plates, the whole system will reset. And if for some reason the vault door is left open, the combination is left in place and somebody enters the room and goes over one of these pressure plates, the whole system will reset as well. Now for the redstone. This may look a little intimidating at first, but I'm gonna do my best to explain what's going on. There are two main redstone circuits that each one of the digits use. The first is what's called a redstone memory cell, which is what comes out directly from the observer. And that feeds into Something that doesn't officially have a name, but I just call it a signal strength comparison gate. The redstone memory cell is probably the most confusing part of this whole thing. I'm going to do my best to explain how it works. So we have one comparator right here in subtract mode with a signal strength of 14 being fed behind it. There is a redstone torch under here, which is feeding this redstone right here. This is a, a power 15, therefore this is power 14. You can see on the right hand side of the F3 menu, it's power 14. This comparator here, which is also in subtract mode, is being fed power 14 as well. So to start off, this comparator is emitting power zero because we have 14 here and 14 here. And since it's in subtract mode, 14 minus 14 is zero. Now, very quickly, if we give this comparator a pulse of 15 right here, what will happen is for a split second, you'll have this comparator emitting a pulse power of 15 which will power this piece of redstone right here with power one and this piece of redstone right here with power one because 15 minus 14 is one. Now, since this piece of redstone very quickly will be power of one, this comparator here, 14 minus one will emit 13. 14 minus 13 is one, so that power of one will stay. So if I throttle this very quickly, you can see the first lamp comes on. And if we look at this redstone here, it's power one. This one is also power one. So every time you do that, you're essentially adding one signal strength to the comparator. So it, what happens there is this quickly becomes 15, 15 minus 13 is two. This one becomes two and this one becomes two. But since this one is in subtract mode, once again, 14 minus two is two. So it stays power two. Every time you do it, the signal strength will add. That is how the redstone memory cell works. To reset the entire system, all you have to do is depower this piece of redstone here, which I have in my system done through the button. I just push this button here and the whole thing resets. And if your brain is a steaming pile of scrambled eggs, don't feel bad, this is a very confusing circuit. So that's the redstone memory cell and that feeds into the signal strength comparison gate. So the way that this circuit works is we have in this chest right here a number of items. Now, depending on the number of items that are in that chest, this comparator will emit a certain signal strength. Right now I have five unstackable items in this chest, which means I'm going to get a signal strength of three. You can see right here, this is a signal strength of three. Now, we feed the signal strength that we want minus one into the side of this comparator here, which is in subtract mode. Now, what's gonna happen is 
Once I get the correct signal strength, which is three in this case from the redstone memory cell, the lamp will light up. If the signal strength is anything other than three, the lamp will not light up. Let me demo that first and then I'll explain exactly what's happening. So there's one, two, three. Now you can see the lamp's lit. If I go to four, it shuts off. And as you saw with one and two, the lamp was off. It'll only go on when the signal strength from the circuit, the memory cell is three. So let me reset that. So what's happening here is this comparator is subtracting the number we want, which is three minus one from the number we're getting. So when we get three minus two, we'll have a signal strength of one, which will mean this piece of redstone is the only one activated, which will activate this repeater, which will activate this comparator and activate the lamp. Keep in mind, this is in subtract mode because if we go above that number, we will have a signal strength of two or more, which will mean this piece of redstone is then activated, which will activate this repeater, activate this piece of redstone, and lock this comparator. Essentially, it doesn't lock it. It just means that you'll get a signal strength of 15 from here and a signal strength of 15 from here, meaning that it will emit a signal strength of zero. And that's how we get it so that we only have a signal if the correct signal strength is given. So we have that set up for each one of the digits in the combination. Here are the redstone memory cells, which feed into the strength signal comparison gates. And they all feed into this OR gate at the back here, meaning if this torch is on or this torch is on or this torch is on, this redstone line will be on. And that feeds over into the three by three piston door, which I'll show you guys in a sec. The only other thing is the lamps. So we're taking the signal strength from the memory cell and we're feeding it upwards into the lamps. So when we have a signal strength of one, the first lamp is on, a signal strength of two, the second lamp is on, etc., all the way to nine. Now, the way that we set the combination is by using these chests. So as you can see right here, I have one wooden ax in this chest so that represents the number one. Now, if you're using unstackable items, the first one represents the number one and then every two represents the next number. So essentially what I mean is I have one X here now that represents the number one. If I had two more X's, I'm now representing the number two. So one, two, two more would give me three, two more would give me four, two more would give me five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So to show exactly what goes on behind the scenes, I will give you the correct digit for this number in the combination, which is the number one. Once again, I have one X in this chest here. So that represents the number one. As you can see, the strength, signal strength comparison gate or whatever you want to call it is now activating this block which is deactivating this torch so essentially once all six torches are deactivated there's three more on the other side then this block right here will be deactivated which will open the three by three piston door so long as that block has a signal the three by three piston door will remain closed and as you can see over here we have the exact same setup so let me show you exactly what will happen on the one side when i have all of the numbers correct so this is one and this is seven seven okay now if you come back around here you'll see that the or gate which says this torch is on or this torch is on or this is torch is on we get a signal none of them are on therefore we have no signal so since the signal is also fed from the other side we need to now deactivate these torches so i'll go ahead once again and i'll show you what happens behind the scenes so that was the number three which is correct for that one and as you can see this torch is now off if i put in the rest of the combination the door opens. So all three of these torches are off. All three of the torches on the other side are off. Therefore, the three by three piston door opens up. So that is it for this redstone showcase, ladies and gents. If you liked this episode, please not hesitate to hit that thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to future redstone showcase episodes, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I'm currently trying to get to 500 subscribers. So anything you guys can do to give me a hand is much appreciated. I hope to see you guys again. Take care. Bye bye.